Donald J. Trump has officially been re-elected as the 47th president of the United States of America, securing 50.2% of the vote. Yep, y'all, the Make America Great Again energy is back for round two. And one of the top reasons nearly half the country said, run it back for Trump again, is his campaign promise to lower inflation and fix the economy. But I'm going to give it a buck, okay? Most experts say the U.S. economy is already one of the strongest in the world right now. So what is Trump really about to bring to the table? Well, he hasn't dropped the full mixtape yet, but we know two tracks for sure. Extending his 2017 tax cuts and turning up the heat on tariffs. I'm Legally Hype, and this is TSR News. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's a tariff? Glad you asked. A tariff is basically a tax that the government puts on stuff coming in from other countries. So think of it as a like, you gonna pay to play type of fee, right? Now it can be slapped on a specific item, like an iPhone example, or on goods from an entire country, like everything that's coming in from China. Imagine that importing an iPhone from China costs a thousand dollars. If Trump slaps a $200 tariff on it, the phone now costs $1,200. Now the idea is to make you say, you know, let me go ahead and buy that American made iPhone for $1,100 instead, right? Cute concept, except there ain't no American made iPhones. So now it seems like we're just paying more for the same thing and now China is laughing all the way to the bank, sometimes. It's not always the case that the cost of the tariff will be passed on to the consumer, but historically, that has generally been the case. But now see, this is where it gets spicy. Trump wants to apply a 10 to 20% universal tax on most foreign products, with a little extra love for China with 60% tariffs, and Mexico 25 to 100% on tariffs. So what does that mean for us? Well, experts are saying that it's looking like higher prices for everything. Households could see costs jump anywhere from $1,900 to $7,600 a year. Now we're also talking about 142,000 full-time jobs being gone and a dip in the economy by up to 1.4%. But wait, hold up. On the flip side, these tariffs could bring in 2.6 to 2.7 trillion dollars over the next two years. That's if no other countries clap back with their own tariffs. But history ain't exactly on Trump's side when it comes to this. Now, this ain't our first little tariff rodeo, okay? Back in the Great Depression, President Hoover thought tariffs would save the day. Spoiler alert! They didn't, okay? The United States Tariff Act of 1930 raised taxes on 20,000 imports by 40 to 60 percent. The result? International trade tanked by 65 percent, at least 25 countries clapped back with their own tariffs, and the U.S. economy went even deeper into a depression. Now, despite the receipts, Trump says tariffs are the key to fixing trade deals and boosting the economy. So, Ramiz, what y'all think? Will tariffs be the glow up or just another hot mess? 